Hey YouTube, welcome back to Luke's Amateur Hour. Coming at you with a quick follow-up for the Jackson Palmer Tool Backpack. Excuse the mess, still doing cleaning. Um, I like it. It's nice. It's solid. I'm especially impressed. I'm going to do things I'm impressed with, things that I think could be better, uh, and then whether it's worth it for you. You make that determination, but I'm impressed with the base. This is something that I feel a lot of tool bags don't get right. Um, and frankly, uh, fishing, fishing bags and hunting bags also don't always get right. Fishing bags and hunting bags have come around recently. I have some older hunting bags that don't have this, but this base is nice. I mean, it is, it's pretty solid. It's sturdy. It's going to hold up, whether it's actually going to stand up. It's going to depend on what all you got in here, but it's going to hold up. Your stuff's not going to get wet if you got a soppy floor. I like the base. I like the base. Um, I like that there's not a lot of very specific tool holders inside here. <laughs> My battery's flashing at me, so this might be a two-parter. Like, there isn't, like, a ruler holder and a pliers holder and a hammer holder, and then you, and you can't put anything else in those things, right? So this is customizable because it's generic. Um, there's tons of room in here. I mean, the, the problem I have with the bag, well, I'll get to that in a minute. Tons of room. The packs, the bags, I mean, you got, you can put meters and notebooks and testing equipment and things in cases still. Um, you could probably fit two or three drill size things down here in the base. I mean, I could fit my fist down there without a problem. I don't know if the lighting sucks here. There's zipper spots here up front for some, uh, it's almost the full length, is it the full length? No, almost the full length down. So that's nice. You could put notebooks and stuff in there. You got a drink holder on the side, which guess what? Not all backpacks have that, and that's really nice. Laptop holder, which is nice. It's padded. It's on the middle section, which I thought was a little odd because some laptop holders are on the back. Uh, or I should say padded slot because um, I don't know that my laptop's going to fit in there very well. I think my laptop would fit better in the back padded slot. But again, another fist size opening in here um, with opening that's pretty nice um, this little thing in the front is like quick access stuff like uh, tape measures and stuff I'd imagine going on there got a little thing on this okay <laughs> I knew it was gonna happen uh, where did I leave off okay yeah the tape holder on the side which is kind of nice um, for your electrical tape, duct tape, whatever. Uh, maybe duct tape roll would fit on there, I don't know. Um, it's got a padded wrist uh, handle that holds the front and back together at the top here, right? So, you know, you can hold it together there. I, I kind of like that. I like that on my other luggage when it holds things closed. Um, the backpack has these cinch straps across the chest, which I, really, I think is really nice and they're adjustable a little bit right you can only get them up in this area here you can't pull them up really tight but you'd have to have pretty small shoulders to be having them up that high uh, and then the bolsters on the back are nice and thick so hopefully you'd get some airflow in there okay that's all the things i like about the bag the things that i think that can be improved so guys over at jackson palmer Pay attention, here they come. So, remember how I said I like that this is all generic? Well, it'd be nice if there was something a little more specific to some, the tools that everybody needs, right? So you can use this thing on the side as a hammer holder. That's fine, or a tape holder, that's fine as well. Like a tape measure spot might be really good like a little clip right here on the side somewhere where your tape measure is always going to be accessible it's kind of out of the way but you can always get to it these molly clip webbings they're not tight enough to always like if you get a good clippy metal tape measure it might not go on there very well especially with you know um and it might loosen up it, it, like this is a knit right it's not much to it 
But having a spot where a pair of pliers are uh, really easy to get in and out of, and I'm not saying these aren't, but like that's really deep for a, let me get my needle nose and I'll show you. Um, okay, so I got a couple pairs of channel locks here. I'll show you what I got here. So we got the, the big ones, right? And they, they don't go there, and I feel like I'm wasting space if I put them in somewhere like that. You can always put them in like this, but that doesn't seem right. Oh man, I'm not even showing you. Okay, let me redo that. They, they kind of go in there, but like not really well. And these are channel lock 420s, I think. Yeah, 420s. Everybody's got a pair of these. If I put them in here, I feel like I'm not using the pocket properly. You know, and these are better suited for some pliers, but these are the duckbill needle nose, or standard needle nose pliers. I mean, kind of sloppy. So like the sizes are good for being generic, but they're also a little too big to be useful for some, you know, standard needle nose pliers. These are uh, channel lock 3017 or 5017, 3017, and these are the bent nose needle nose pliers. Like, but they're too small to be useful for the channel lock 420s, which are something almost everybody's got a pair of these, right? Um, this stuff might be good for meters, but they're it's kind of short, so you need short and stubby stuff. I could see tapes, uh, tape rolls, tapes, uh, uh, hardware, like little boxes of hardware and stuff. Uh, by hardware, I mean um, uh, nuts, bolts, washers, fittings, uh, uh, twist lock things for electricals. And sorry, all the terms are escaping me right now. But you know what I'm talking about. You guys know what I'm talking about. Um, and you can get even like your bit boxes, your DeWalt bit boxes and Bosch or whatever you're, you're running into here. So that'll fit there. That's another knit. Um, and then I, I feel like I want to put my laptop in this one because this is padded here and in between it's kind of padded. But then I'd have hard tools, tool steel. Uh, right up against my laptop. I personally have my work backpack and it's not a tool backpack, it's a laptop backpack. Um, I like my laptop being right against my back because I feel that it's protected completely on one side by me and by these big pads as well. It's a personal preference. You might not have it, but it's a preference I have. So They asked. I do like this little clip here for a set of keys or something like that. Um, all in all, I like the bag. I feel like some of these pockets could be a little bit more specific, right? Stupid flies in here. Like, make these a little bit narrower so that a pair of good sized needle nose pliers isn't sloppy. Um, or make them deeper so that a pair of 420 channel locks fit in really nice, make it a little wider. Then, right, so I just feel like it's kind of in this weird in between ground. And maybe that's just me, but I am a DIYer, right? Where am I going to put my ratchet in here? Like, if I'm carrying a ratchet, which I always do when I travel, or if I'm carrying a screwdriver, I could stuff a couple screwdrivers in here, but I'm not going to stuff three or four different ratchets in here. I'm maybe, I think I've at most taken two ratchets with me anywhere I've gone. Sorry. So, I don't know. It just, mm, there's, there's tons of pockets. I, don't get me wrong there. And I'm not saying the sizes are terrible. I'm just saying it's for my personal use, eh, kind of in between. So that's my feelings on the Jackson Palmer tool backpack. Shoot, tool backpack. <laughs> Should you buy it? Uh, full disclosure. Uh, I did an intro video to this video and it didn't turn out the way I was hoping it'd turn out. Mm, whatever, you can go back and find the video if you want. I'm not going to link to it. It's in my channel. Um, they sent me this backpack. Essentially, I paid a cent for it, right, on Amazon. They sent me a code and I punch in the code. It gives me 
$49.98 off the $49.99 of the backpack. So they sent it to me. I'm not keeping it though. Um, I, well, let me also say this, this last word. For uh, somebody like me who is just using uh, tool carrying when I go somewhere, right? I it, like on vacation or go to a friend's house where I know that they're low light on tools. Some of the um, parties that I'll frequent throughout the year, I'll put it that way. There are places where I'll go and if I carry my multi-tool on me, that's the most tools at that particular address, right? Mm -hmm. So something like that, I throw together a little tool bag, but this is way bigger than I would need for that situation. A long trip, like when I'm going to Canada in a couple weeks, this might work, but I'm not the only one going who's gonna take tools, so maybe I only need to cover a couple basics for myself. Um, for me, a backpack like this, the way this is constructed would last 10 years. I mean, geez, it's, it's that, I mean, it's definitely robust. If you're a DIYer, you're, you need something to carry backpacks, I don't know, four or carry backpacks, carry tools four or five times a year. There's nothing in this, I swear. It's just cranberry juice. Um, then, then this is going to be solid for you, man. I, I mean, like I said, the first thing, I am really impressed with this rubber base. And I was running through a Lowe's or Home Depot not too long ago. They had a Milwaukee tool backpack. It looked like the exact same base. And I don't mean like, oh, it's kind of curved like that. I mean, the markings looked almost identical to this. I didn't get a look at the bottom to check if there was that little sun or whatever, but the front markings, the cross hatching and the stitching into the bag looked identical. So, and that was $35 and it was less backpack. There were less pockets, there were less loops, etc. So for 50 bucks, if you're a DIYer and you want a backpack for carrying tools, this seems to fit the bill and seems pretty reasonable. I don't see a problem with it. Like I said, this is a personal preference thing. The tools I keep are usually, are, tools I carry are a little smaller than these pockets would allow for, but uh, other people carry bigger tools. That's, <laughs> but, oh man, don't take that for any more than it's, it's face value. It is made in China, if that matters to you. That's all I have to say about this backpack. I do know somebody who will get good use out of this way more than I will, so I'm going to gift it to him. Uh, he manages a couple properties, and so I, uh, and he does the maintenance on them as well. And so I know he travels with tools quite frequently. So I think something like this, he's going to be able to pack with his maintenance tools and just leave in his car, uh, and it'll protect them. Uh, he'll know where they are at all times. Um, so that's going to him. I'm also going to throw in this little pouch for him. And if he buys me a beer, I might let him have this little pouch. I kind of fell in love with this thing. I really like this. Jackson Palmer, you nailed it with this thing. Just sell this separate. Ten bucks? Five bucks? It's awesome. Like this thing holds a ton of tools, right? I, I love this thing. And it's perfect for my kind of travel, the way that I travel with tools. This is perfect for me. Uh, I'd like to have two or three of these. But anyway, say la vie. That's my follow-up on the Jackson Palmer tool backpack. Yes, they wanted feedback. Jackson Palmer, it's in the video. Watch it. Uh, yes, they sent it to me for practically free, but I'm not keeping it. I'm not giving it away on my channel. I'm giving it away to a friend who I know will definitely, definitely be able to use this. That's all I have to say. My name's Luke. I'm an amateur. This one didn't take an hour. You guys have a good evening.